These devices were also the hope for their parent companies i, Sony, and Nintendo after subsequent failures in making a gaming console. Although both Nintendo 64 and indeed the Sony PlayStation 1, P-Zone were popular gaming consoles that were distributed worldwide. There were significant distinctions between both, and this article compares them side to side. The PlayStation 1 and N64 are the results of Nintendo and Sony's attempt and subsequent failure at teaming up to create a console. Nintendo went ahead and created the N64 while Sony created the PlayStation. The main difference between the two is their architecture as the N64 is a 64-bit system while the P-Zone is a 32-bit system. This is only of relevance to technical people and is of little relevance to gamers as other factors affect the overall performance of each system. Another major difference between the N64 and P-Zone is their choice of media for the games. N64 went with cartridges like those used in their older platforms while Sony decided to go with CD. This is the single factor which determined the fates of both machines and the eventual loss of Nintendo to Sony. The use of cartridges meant that games were extremely fast on the N64 as exhibited by the absolute lack of loading screens. The CD is very slow in comparison, and if you've played games on the P-Zone, you've probably endured going through a loading screen every minute of gaming. The CD did have a lot of advantages, though. For one, CD are cheap and easy to manufacture which lead to cheaper games and faster production. It is also possible to span games across multiple discs without raising the cost significantly. Developers had a lot more room to work with on the P-Zone, and some games span three or even four discs. Memory on the N64 cartridges was pretty limited, and developers struggled to even fit detailed textures in them. The huge capacity of P-Zone discs also allowed developers to put hours of video, often referred to as cinematics, into their games to improve the gaming experience, something that is very common in RPG. Cinematics in the N64 are not pre-rendered. This sacrifices quality to save space. One saving aspect of the N64 is the many accessories that you can have. Aside from the usual controllers with buttons on them, the N64 also has the voice recognition unit, VRU for games that use voice to control on screen characters. Another accessory, called the transfer pack, allowed players to copy data from their Game Boy cartridges to their compatible N64 game. One game, Pokemon Stadium, even lets the player play the Game Boy game on the N64 via emulation. The P-Zone did have many accessories of its own, but it was not as varied as that of the N64. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.